All right, so uh, we've got our artichokes here and we've got a few things. I've got citric acid powder. Now, before anybody grumbles, uh, you can find citric, citric acid powder really, really easy. It's on Amazon, very affordable. Uh, but that's uh, support our sous vide community here. Uh, our partners at uh, Modernist Pantry, they also sell citric acid, powder, citric acid powder. I can't say that. Uh, I've got a little bit of citric acid powder. I've got a paring knife. I've got a peeler, I've got a Y-shaped peeler. This is the style that I like. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier for me to use uh, than the uh, you know traditional potato peeler. I've got a, uh, a bread knife. A uh, serrated knife is important because the outside skin of the, uh, uh, the outer leaves of the artichokes are pretty tough, so you gotta get through those. I've got half of a lemon out. Anytime you make a cut surface, you wipe it down with lemon because the uh, artichokes oxidize very quickly and that'll affect not not so much the flavor but how they look uh, so you're gonna go ahead and wipe your cut surfaces always with this half of, uh, of a lemon now the other half of the lemon is in this uh, is in this water here along with some citric acid powder now you just want the the water to be acidulated you want it to be fairly sour if you will uh, and that's gonna keep them from turning brown so uh, oh, and I've got some uh, got some gloves here. Now the uh, the thistles inside the uh, the choke of the artichoke uh, can be a little bit irritating to your skin, so that's why I've got these uh, latex gloves. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. You know, it's, it's nothing to worry about. It's it's not gonna hurt you, but um, it's just a little annoying. That's all. So first, we're going to clean up uh, the outer leaves at the base. Okay, we're gonna pick all those off. We're gonna clean up the bottom. Boop. Okay, we made a cut. We're gonna do lemon. Okay, now we're gonna start to peel. Peel the leaves. Just gonna, just gonna go for it. I like to kind of come in from the side rather than the top because again, uh, those thistles up on the top, they can bite you. Okay, this one's peeling really easy. This one's, a little, when the, I feel like when they're a little bit more mature, it's almost easier. Okay, so now we've gotten down to this, uh, sort of to where we can see, where we can see this, this line here, okay? So we're gonna cut just below it because that's what's going to expose the heart. Okay, and now you can see we have this, uh, this thistle area in here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and scoop that out. Oh, sorry, we made a cut. We're gonna go ahead, put some lemon on it. Don't be afraid to use the lemon. And if, uh, if you need to dunk it too, maybe, uh, in your water, that's okay too. Okay, so now we're gonna scoop this out. And you kind of just you kind of just turn them both back and forth against each other. It comes right out. Very simple. Very easy. Okay. Don't want to crack the artichoke. You can crack it if you're a little bit aggressive with it. Okay. Okay. So now we've removed the uh, the the thistle. And now we're gonna peel away. Now this is where you could, some people would use a peeler. You could use a peeler if you wanted to. I like a paring knife. A peeler works too. Peeler, you know, it just depends on your preference. Okay. I think, I think it takes a little bit longer with a peeler. I'll let you decide. Okay, and now we're gonna oh, we're gonna use our lemon. Let's put some put some acid on it. Okay, move that out of the way. And now we're gonna come in from the top, and we're gonna come down around uh, the base of the artichoke to get rid of this to get rid of this tough stuff. Okay, and again, I have a very sharp paring knife. I keep this thing. Crazy sharp. And that is gonna help you out here. Okay.
Okay. Just gonna go around. Clean, clean up anything. I see a little bit too much stem there. And that's perfect. And you see here, maybe I didn't get enough lemon juice in here. It's getting a little bit brown. That's okay. Just gonna put a little more in there, rub it on the artichoke. And now we've got a, uh, a turned artichoke. All right, so we've got our, our artichokes, which we've uh, turned that were sitting in acidulated water. And we've got them uh, sort of resting on a paper towel, sort of drying off here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna cut them up. We're gonna quarter them, let's say. Okay, and that's sort of a sort of a classic way to do it. Now, if you got some big ones where it'd be kind of hard to quarter, not a problem. We'll cut the uh, cut the stem off. We're going to take the stem. We'll just cut him in half, and then we will quarter. Or this one actually, we can cut in six pieces. Okay, we'll take those. Throw them in there. And then this one, this one's in okay shape. Eh. I'll cut his stem in half. And then with this one, ah, this one too. We'll cut this, we'll cut this crown in in six pieces. So we're gonna take these uh, our pieces of artichoke here. We're gonna toss them with a little bit of a uh, little bit of a neutral oil. This is just uh, soy oil, I believe. You could use whatever you want. You could use vegetable oil, huh? Pun intended. And then we're gonna do some kosher salt and season them up nice. Now you could do a lot more with the seasoning. You could throw herbs in here. A bay would not bay would be great. Thyme would be great. Maybe not necessarily with this flavor profile, but you could certainly do it and it would be great with some artichokes. Uh, you could throw rosemary in here, throw some rosemary in here and then throw these up on the grill. Ooh, that would be delicious. Uh, but we're just gonna cook these really, really simply and throw them into a bag. You could go super classic and you could make a barragool liquid. And if you don't know what that is, go ahead and uh, look up uh, artichokes barragool. Uh, essentially, it's an acidulated uh, cooking medium for artichokes. Uh, that's traditionally used um, and sometimes it's even served with that liquid but again I'm just gonna take the artichokes toss them in a little bit of oil uh, and salt and cook them cook them as they are so we're gonna throw these into a vacuum bag we're gonna vacuum seal them we're gonna vacuum seal them and cook these at 83 degrees Celsius for three hours and then we're gonna ice bath them and uh, cool them down